Hey everyone, it's Paul. I wanted to show everybody this program right here is called Audacity. It's a free software. All the links will be in the bottom of the video, so you have to click the description and go down below. It's a free download. I use a Windows computer, so I don't know about you Apple users. So I just clicked on this. I downloaded it. I put it in my music folder and then I just put audio mixer. And then what I did is I created another folder and put haunted sounds in it. Anyway, it's free, doesn't cost nothing. It's very simple to use. Now after you download this software and try to run it, it's gonna ask for some type of missing code because it's a free software. Either it will take you to this website, but I'll also put a link down below. And it's this top link right there. And you download that and you put that in your computer as well and you'll be able to convert your sounds in your software to mp3 just to make everything easier where i grabbed some of the music from was youtube audio library youtube audio library has sound effects and free music that you can use in your videos productions whatever your little heart desires all you have to do if you have a google account already you might not know this, but you have a YouTube account. All you have to do is sign into YouTube. So this is your home page. And then you come over here and you just click my channel and it brings you to this, whatever your channel set up or it might not be set up. And you go to video manager and then you come down to create free music. And all you have to do is type in the search dark and a whole bunch of dark what i like to look for is the climatic dark stuff like that all the links are below first of all let's talk about ambient music in your room you'll have a boo box and on that boo box you'll have two tracks one is ambient the other is your scare sound you want to make your ambient sound something that loops over and over and over. Let me show you how to make an ambient loop. First, you have to go find your song. Find it anywhere. It doesn't matter. It could be YouTube, anywhere you want. Any type of song or sound or anything. I found one here on YouTube. It's called doll dancing so i open up my audacity and then there's a little record button up here you just hit the record button and you can see it's starting to record so then i go back to my youtube and make sure you have you know your facebook xed out and anything else that's going to give you notifications so let's play this. Now you can hear it playing and then you click back on your Audacity and look there, it's recording your sound. I've messed with this song before so I know where, about where I need it. Okay, right there where it stopped. Now I'm going to stop it on the Audacity from recording. And you can see right there, that's where it stopped at. So, first of all, let's turn off the song. That audio can be from any source. A CD, whatever. Uh, internet. So we go back to the song and let's start playing it here. Okay. You have to stop your audio. You take a little cursor, come to here, and then you highlight it with your left button 
the section you want to cut out. And you come up to edit and hit cut. Watch what happens. Bam! Gone. Now let's go back to the beginning of the song. We don't want all this. So we'll just highlight this all. And I actually don't want it until it gets to like a second bell. Which I don't know exactly where that is yet. So I know it's not until there. So we'll cut that out. And let's just play this from the very beginning and how how does it sound? Okay, right there. Let's play that again. Stop it. So what we'll do is take this mark and go forward. And we'll cut all that out. So it will sound like this in the beginning. And at the end, it will sound like this. So what we'll do, file, and we're going to save us now. Export audio. And then you can just label it A. M B for ambient. Click save. All this stuff will come up. You just click OK. Bam, you saved it. Now we got your AMB. Now this is my Windows, just Windows player. And I have it set up to loop. And the first time it loops, it doesn't sound exactly right. But this is an ambient loop now. Where the audience can't really tell where it loops at. The sound starts over. And that's somewhat how you make an ambient loop. Now that isn't the official way or any way. You do it how you want to do it. But this just gives you an example what type of software you can use to make your own audio sounds and mixes. Um, Audacity's free. Doesn't cost nothing. Download it. Play with it. Just practice and practice and practice. I'll see you again for tutorial on how to make your your scare sound like I said it's not official it's anything like that you make it how you want to make it and make it how you it sounds good just because that maybe it sounds awesome to you and everything there's other people at the house that really understands it a little bit better maybe than you Maybe it doesn't sound good to them, but maybe it sounds good to you. So it's kind of one of those things where you got to get it made so everybody can hear it and get the feel for it. And then everybody kind of tweaks everything to make this masterpiece art that everybody can see. That's what's awesome about this place. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe. Comment below.
and I'll talk to you later.